you quoted one conversation and said, atheists say their, vo- their view doesn't make sense. I said I've met many atheists in one-on-one conversations who would be willing to admit that when you take it to its logical conclusion, you okay. can't make sense of reality. And Eric, I've met many atheists that believe they can still talk to their dead loved ones. Okay. It so, doesn't mean all atheists are skeptical. Okay, do you, can you make sense of reality? See, this is what you do. Uh, I won't answer. No, exactly. it's not that I won't answer. Because answer. these questions are it's so not that generic. Can you make it's sense of reality, answer. David? That doesn't can make you any make sense. sense of reality? Can you make sense define of Define sense, define reality, philosophical, blah, blah, vomit. No, you're not going to do that to this show. How do you know what It's exactly. ridiculous. How do you know what's real? My point to you, Sai, is you intentionally go back to the Bible every time. Course. But that's that's authority. Authority. And, okay. you go to your reasoning every yeah. time. I that's do go to reasoning every time. Thank that's your you. Authority. How that's do you right. know? How do you, you open your, your own Bible? Thank you. Well, Thank you. You go to your reasoning. I understand. How you're, how opening, you know, you're opening your own Bible. The, how do you know that your reasoning is valid? Okay, but the question is: How do you know your reasoning is valid? The question is: Why do you believe the Bible when it was written by people if, who were no, also no, sinners? First of, all, first of all, I say, why do I believe the Bible? Because if you reject it, your worldview is absurd. That's why. But the people that wrote the Bible could have been wrong. Based right, on what standard? How do you know that? See, this see, is why they, they, don't like they don't like you. This is why they don't like you. No, well, the thing David, is, you, you won't answer ask, questions. You won't answer any of our questions. You David, won't answer can, the questions. Can how do you know what's real? Your reasoning? How, how do you know, know what's real? real? Guys, this isn't about this. Exactly. Won't answer it again. I can't, I'm looking forward to watching this. this I don't understand good. what your point is. Okay. I'm asking can you specifically. what is real? I'm asking you specifically about the Bible. Yeah, but you're doing it with a false premise. This revelation from God. What's your basis for certainty? About anything. Well, I mean, there are several things that I think that I believe, like Matt was saying. I think he did a very good job of explaining things he believes but that he could be wrong about. And I'm, I'm fine with that. So but, what's your basis for certainty? Well, here's the about problem. Anything. I'm not claiming to have extraterrestrial knowledge. Right. What's your basis? What's so your I'm basis not, for certainty? Right. About anything. What do you mean by that? About how do you know any, anything? How do you know what anything is to be true? See, that, that's the song and dance we get all the time. Certain, My all song you know. and dance? That's are you right. kidding me? How do you okay, know step up to the mic. What's See, your name? Let's go to the mic because I don't want to answer the question. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, guys. Because you can't answer <laughs> No, because the you are claiming See, you people to magic. Know it. Yeah. You might not see it tonight. You're claiming to magic. Listen to this over and over saying. again and listen no, to him claiming, avoid the question. We're claiming revelation from God and then we say, what are you claiming? You're saying, you know, I don't know. What are you talking about? What is certainty? Well, You're I'm basically not, saying, you look, know what? And this is where when I get with an honest atheist and it's not on their radio program, they'll say, you know what? You're right. I can't be certain about anything. Well, no, no. I was about to tell you something. I was about to tell you that anything that I told you that, I, that, I'm, that I'm pretty sure I know, not everything... But some things that I told you, I'm pretty sure of this. I could be wrong about okay. that. So the and I'm a, that well, hold on. See, hold on. That's what they? you do. You wait for someone to say, I, I could be wrong. And then you dogpile and you don't let them finish. And then you quote mine. No, and that's why people don't trust you, wrong. Eric. That's why they don't trust you. <laughs> that's why they don't like your cameras in their face. And they won't talk to you. Let me finish. I'm honest enough to say I could be wrong about a lot of things, but that's only because I'm realistic and I know that, that my intelligence has grown over my lifetime and things that I thought I was certain about, I later went, oh, wait a minute. I actually learned additional information. What so because be I'm being realistic, you trap me into this box and say, I know everything because, or I can no. know everything because of God. That's not you, what we Hang said. on. You said that you, you could be wrong about a lot of things. What can't you be wrong about? Yeah, that's, that's the real question. What, what can't I be wrong about? What can you not be wrong about? What do you say? Yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> I feel like I'm on Price is Right. What number? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I. Yeah, are you gonna go back to the brain in the vat thing? No matter what I think, it's a brain in a vat. I mean, that, well, it's, it's your. Okay. I it's think just that it's been established. Ex- it's exposing yeah. your worldview for what it is. And that's why I said when you I push think, the atheist worldview to the end... I don't think end, it's a bad worldview to be able to admit that you can learn something new and admit that, that you was were wrong learning, at one point. Learning, yeah. learning, presupposes, learning presupposes that God exists. So okay. what have you learned that you cannot be wrong about? Because this is your great worldview that you can learn things. What have you learned that you cannot be wrong about? Well, it's not, it's not that I've learned one single thing. When I say that I can't be wrong about everything, it's because that would mean two things are contradicting. So I couldn't be wrong about two things that were contradicting. So I couldn't be wrong about everything. But, I mean, I don't, so I, I, I don't know. So what is you can't be wrong about? You said I can't be wrong about everything. Yeah, I, I, I like, I like Edward's answer, my, my existence. I would have to say I know that I at least exist. How do you know that? Yeah, here we go. 
How do you know? Yeah, that? I don't. Okay. So, and see, you don't this have is, an out. This well, is where on. the atheist worldview leads to absurdity. And this was my So because statement. I can admit to you that I could be wrong about something, therefore a dead Jew came back to life? No, because you're It doesn't you're make saying, sense. Because you're saying, here's the foolishness. You're going, hey, dude, because I might be a brain in a vat, you think that your God did something? Do I talk like that? That's what you just did. I man. hope I don't. Well, Come on, I want to get this good. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Cle-